What's up everybody? So today I am in beautiful New Brunswick, Canada, the East Coast. So my parents just bought this house in New Brunswick and I'm here to help set up the internet. That's why I'm here. So I have two full days to kill, almost three full days, so I figured why not announce who the winner is of the QuickPod DSLR POV. I made a contest about, I don't know, a couple weeks ago and basically you had to give me a, a pretty good reason or thing that you'd do with the QuickPod that would be cool. What, what, what cool shots are you gonna get with the QuickPod? And you had to subscribe to me and QuickPod. As you can tell, it's very echoey in here and that's because the new house we got is really huge ceilings, like crazy high ceilings, but there's tons of cool features about this house that I'm gonna quickly run through right now and I'm actually gonna film it using the quick pause so you guys can come along with me. Okay, so let's do it. Ooh. This house, this house has tons of cool features like I said. So let me start off by showing you the incredibly tall ceilings in this place, see? Woo. There's like a little bridge up there. So tall that this wall has two windows. So, this place right here, this is like my little stage. Okay, this is where I put on some shows for nobody because I haven't made any friends in New Brunswick yet. Pretend that the audience is going wild down there. And this is another cool way to see how tall these ceilings are. But, one of the best features about this house, one of the best features is that it has potential to be uh, home alone. And what I mean by that is the scene in Home Alone, the stairs, how he toboggans down them right out the door. I can do that. Yeah, I can do that right down here and out the door. And there's a lot of snow here, so why not? It's possible. What else can I show you? Um, let me show you on my window. This is the room that I'm staying in right now. The house that we bought is in uh, close to a little town called Heartland. And Heartland is famous for the world's, uh, the world's largest covered bridge. So it's this big bridge with a roof. It's only one way, so you can only, you gotta wait and see at the other end if somebody's coming based on headlights, and then you can go. But uh, you'll be seeing that actually soon, because I'm gonna be going there. But this is the view. See that there's tons of trees. There's like a house right there. Pretty cool, it's not all that's cool about it. Let me show you. Next time, I'm gonna do it on a toboggan because that's way cooler. I'm in the kitchen and the kitchen has drawers that you can't slam, which makes you look so dumb if you're mad or something like that. But I'll show you, you go like this and say so you gotta, oh crap, I gotta run. Close it, oh, it glides slowly. And just push and then it closes. And then outside, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the gray. The gray starring Liam Neeson. But uh, these forests, for some reason, remind me of the gray. It's just, it's just woods and it goes far back. You can tell we're on the East Coast because they have signs warning you when a guy and a horse is crossing and when a moose is crossing. There's tons, a, tons, a, there's tons of moose crossing signs here, which is crazy because I have uh, only seen a moose once and that was in British Columbia. So hopefully I see one now. Hopefully I don't hit one, but hopefully I see one. So I hit one, I can be dangerous. Keep my eyes peeled. To help you guys get a better understanding of the population of this place, um, let's just say I've been driving on this road, and of course, right when I started the camera, there's somebody behind me. But I've been driving for like 15 minutes, and I haven't seen anybody on these roads. Like nobody, and this is what I've been seeing for the past like 15 minutes. But uh, since I turned on the camera, there's now somebody coming in the back. Ain't that how it goes. It, the world's longest covered bridge. I don't know why they would make that. I mean, do they have something against getting their head wet or, or even their car wet, but not even that. This bridge is one way. So, not one way, but one vehicle at a time. So it goes one way and then it'll flip the other way. So it's kind of inconvenient. I think it's just something that's putting them on the map a little bit by having the world's longest covered bridge. Here we go. What did it say? This is what Heartland, New Brunswick is big for world's longest covered bridge right here. And we're about to go over it. There it is. This bridge is one way with traffic. See, so I gotta wait here because I can see car lights there, but 
can see. Let me zoom in. Welcome, you are now entering the longest covered bridge in the world. 1,282 feet. So now there's no more cars for this bad boy. So let's go. Here we go. Eee! This is it. This is the world's longest covered bridge that we're in right now together. How do you feel? This is great. This is great because our roof isn't getting wet. And like, yeah, it's awesome. Heartland, New Brunswick. Let's get to the winner of the quick pot. I know everyone's waiting for that, so let's get to it. And uh, I'm gonna flip back to the other camera. Oh, so that's my new house. Hope you guys like it, because I think it's kind of cozy. Okay, so quick pot, boom. This sucker right here. This thing has helped me so much. I just recently got back from the Bahamas, and I use this guy everywhere. I use it to when I went snorkeling to film the fish, get closer up. I use it to take pictures of sunset, so I don't have to ask like, the crazy amount of old people that were on this cruise ship. This thing has helped me a ton, and yes, you can see in that video I just, we just did walking around my house, uh, it's kind of like your own personal cameraman. You just can control it, it's awesome, you can't even see it. What we're gonna do is, this contest was so hard to choose because there's so many creative answers, and I, I can tell a lot of people want this thing. Why not, it's great. I narrowed it down. I mean, there was great answers from filming bands, busking, putting your GoPro on it, filming your family, uh, filming travel videos, so much you can do with it, and those are all great. They're all really great answers, but I've narrowed it down to two, two answers. So one of them is Viva La Watts. This guy makes videos, I'm sure you guys have probably already seen him before, but his was, he was gonna use it as a jib to kinda look around, and that's great, because this thing's really awesome for that. The other one was Cassidy Quinn Brettler. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But hers was, uh, she wants to film it wakeboarding, and I know there was a couple wakeboarding answers, but she had the first one. She could sw film sweet dance parties, whatever. But she makes videos as well, so I've narrowed it down to those two. Don't leave yet because, I mean, why not see who wins, right? I'm gonna do this uh, luck of the draw because I can't choose. They're both really great answers. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write both their names on a piece of paper, bring them up to my little stage that we talked about up there, drop them, and the first one to hit the ground, we'll be getting a quick pod. Let's go do it right now. Viva La Watts. Cassidy, Queen, Brentler. And that's that. We're gonna do this real time. It's not like an infomercial right now. Take them both. Okay. Got them both. We're walking up to the top of my stage, like we talked about. And I'm gonna drop these. You guys just saw me write them. This is Viva Lawatts. And this is Cassidy Quinn Brentler. Let's see. Dropping them. In three, two, one. That one. The winner of the quick pod is. Oh, Viva the Watts. So, all you have to do now is you have to send me your info to your house so I can come use my quick pod and film me through your window. All you have to do is send me the info so I can then send you your very own quick pod DSLR POV. That's how I did it. Fair enough, it's the only way. Congratulations, Matt Watts. You guys won a free quick pod. Let's go back to the other camera. So that's how I did it. I dropped two pieces of paper from the roof and Viva La Watts was the winner, so he will be getting a quick pod DSLR if, obviously, he sends me his info. So I'd like to thank everybody for entering. You all had great answers. I'll do it again. Don't worry, we'll do something else soon that involves a free giveaway, because everyone loves free stuff. Everybody loves free stuff. From New Brunswick, beautiful New Brunswick, the Danocracy, well, I went German there for a second. The Danocracy, signing out. Hopefully, uh, you guys don't hate me because you didn't win. But, see you guys later.